Hello folks, so uh, I'm back at the project here today that uh, this is the uh, abandoned uh, mobile home project and uh, the last video that I put up uh, I recorded that middle of December and uh, so today it's the middle of February and so it's two months since I recorded that last video so the last two months just kind of been resting and taking it easy and picking away at a few little things here but uh, you know just mostly uh, just taking some time off it's winter time here now and uh, you know to really get going on this project we're gonna have to uh, you know get into some pretty major demolition and uh, we want to wait for the warm weather for that to happen so I'm just gonna show you uh, kind of where we're at here uh, in that last video we were working on the electrical certification and uh, you know some demolition work and so uh, yeah I'm just gonna take you for a little walk around here and kind of show you show you where we're at oh, so you can see it's a snowy day here we've had a really cold spell here it's been uh, minus 20 celsius overnight so it's pretty pretty chilly for the last week or so but uh in that last video i uh was showing you how that roof in the uh addition was leaking and how moldy it was and i didn't show you the outside so i'm just going to show you the outside of that addition so here you can see it so here we have the this is the main mobile home here, and then this is the addition. This is how it looks from the from the outside. So, this is that sunroom that uh, you know we were in before, and uh, just gonna walk up here and just show you kind of how the how this roof is attached. You know, I was saying how I don't like these shed roofs. So here you can see here's the addition, and you can see how this roof is uh, shingled little birds here so you can get a pretty good look at it from here so you can just see how flat the roof is on the addition and uh, the addition roof is shingled with asphalt shingles and you know that's not enough pitch for asphalt shingles you know the the snow can melt and the rain can back up underneath those shingles and that's you know some of the problems that we were having with the uh, leakage inside and so you can see there where the pitch changes uh, you know where the, the steeper roof there is the uh, roof on the old on the mobile home itself and that roof is a metal roof so what we have here is an asphalt roof meeting a metal roof and that intersection there is where it's been leaking and that is super hard to seal that and keep it sealed. It's just really, really tough. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a look at that from, from this end, from this side, outside. And so now eventually when we you get to doing the roof, we're going to be, uh, uh, we're going to be changing that metal roof up there to a asphalt roof. And uh, we're going to be putting an overhang on the you know the main mobile home unit uh, the same as we did on our last project there so you can see here if we can get down here without slipping so you can see there how you know there's no overhang and just like the last project we did you know it's got this overhang on the front that's the only overhang that we have so you know we're going to be adding an overhang onto this and uh, you know again we're going to be showing you how we do all that all right so part of this uh this electrical inspection thing certification that we had to do was we uh had to get rid of a bunch of old wiring to satisfy the uh, electrical inspector and so here in this uh covered deck and carport you can see where we uh took all of the uh all of the uh, soffit material out there had a uh, metal soffit material and so we could get expose the wiring and then take it all out so you know this has all been removed 
So this is ready for demolition. We're going to take this down. Uh, we're going to be building a new deck here uh, with a, a new covered deck. And we're going to eliminate the carport because the carport is just its small and it's just kind of useless. And we're going to be relocating the steps that go up. Um, we're going to bring that around here. We're going to put steps out here somewhere. And uh, this concrete's going to get taken up and we're going to landscape this so there'll be you know, steps coming up here instead of around the end. Uh, you know, we've got parking for two cars out there. It is open, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, um, there is, there is place there for parking. And this, this whole thing with parking one vehicle in front of the other and the carport, it's just not really that practical. And, and it's small, like it's really hard to open your doors in here. But when we get to demolition here, this, uh, we'll be taking that metal roof off. And then, you know, taking down the framing and taking this all away. Um, and replacing this again with a pitched um, asphalt roof. It won't have this shed roof thing. Okay, and again, you know, we'll be putting an overhang on. And one of the reasons we want to have overhang is you can see right here because of this window here. This is a good example of it. You can see how, you know, the icicles and stuff are coming off that roof there well it basically just comes over and then down onto the window and you can see I've put that uh, that tape on there to keep the water what's been happening is, is the water's been coming down the roof and then um, down the wall and into the top of the window and then it's been burning out on the sill inside there and, and some damage in the wall down here as well so that's all going to get fixed, you know, when we put the overhang on there and then we'll be putting eaves troughs on that, it will completely eliminate that problem. And our, our little workshop at the back here. So this is going to come down. And this is a little bit disappointing. I, I wasn't sure about, you know, how this was going to turn out when I first looked at the place. You know, this little building was just full of stuff and uh, but we determined that it has to come down and so again as part of that electrical certification process we had to remove all of the wiring in there uh, to satisfy the inspector so you can see like we, there was a plug there we got rid of that and i'll just take you inside here but you can see how you know this is all uh, heaved here and you can see that step how that step is heaved and you come inside and it's dark because there's no power left in here but uh yeah this is it so before this was all insulated and drywalled and uh so we pulled that all out and there was pretty heavy wiring in here you know there was a uh a sub panel out here and with this being a workshop you know there was uh, several outlets in here it was wired for uh 220 volt but you can see how just everything is heaving and collapsing you know you can see that there you know, this floor is you know it's all rotten um you know when i step on it around here it's all soft uh, but the big reason we have to take this down is because of this and i hope you can see this because it's not the best lighting here but this back wall try and get an angle of it here to show you you can see how it's bowed into the room and I don't know if you can see how out of plumb that window is to the left of me there, the big window. Okay, and that's because on the other side of this, uh, you can see it through this dirty window, but there's a bank here. And so what's happening is that bank is pushing down and it's pushing against this wall and it's actually pushing it in. And also, you know this is all rotten here so this you know this wall is completely you know, it's just completely rotten you can see all the dry rot in there so unfortunately you know it's a nice little building but you know it's uh we can't save it so uh it's going to come down and uh you know this will be part of the process once we once the weather warms up and we and we actually get working here. Um, just get, we're gonna get in a big dumpster and we'll just take this building down and we'll take that addition off and that carport over there and uh, sort of start with the blank canvas here 
Uh, I don't know if we're going to put a little a shed back. If we do put something back here, it's just going to be something small, you know, like a garden shed. It won't be, you know, such a, a big a big shed. All right, so uh, just take you inside, kind of explain to you how that electrical certification finished up. So basically, you know, in uh, our province, we're in British Columbia, Canada. Uh, it's illegal to even put a home for sale that uh, does not have a proper surgical, electrical certification. And when these homes are built, they have a uh, they have a uh, they're they're built under CSA standards, Canadian Standards Association, and uh, the CSA there are CSA inspectors in the factory where the the homes are built and uh, they inspect the wiring as it goes through the through the assembly line at the factory and when it's done they will place a uh, csa label on the home and that label is proof that um, that the home is the specification if you do any additions or alterations to the home after it's on site like this one has this one has had uh, you know the addition put on and that carport and the workshop at the back, you know, those are all electrical um, additions or alterations to the original CSA uh, certification. And as long as you have your permits, uh, you know, everything's done under permit, and you keep record of the permit, it keeps the CSA uh, certification, the original one, it keeps it um, valid. If you do stuff that's not under permit, not inspected or you lose track of your documentation or if you lose your CSA label if somehow the CSA label gets lost um, you, you don't have a valid uh, CSA certification anymore and so uh, a home this age the CSA label is usually put on the outside and I suspect that it was put on uh, this is the outside wall here and it was probably placed on the outside wall uh, you know near the back door so this was originally the back door well when they put the addition on they took the siding off and they, they put drywall and stuff in there and I'll take you in there in a minute show you how that ended up but uh, along the way here the CSA label got removed so at this point in the game, we have no permits that can pro prove that any of this work that was done here was done under permit, inspected and passed, and we, uh, and our label was gone. So in that situation, we have to do what's called a silver label. And uh, the, the authority that we have uh, in British Columbia is, it's called BC Technical, B Technical Safety BC. Uh, and they're the people that have the authority and the jurisdiction over these kinds of things. And uh, so we so we had to get uh, a silver label. So the silver label replaces the CSA uh, sticker, the original one. And what it does is it just validates all of the work that's been done here. So because we are doing all these changes to this home, basically taking this home back to a, a single wide, um, we had to get we're getting rid of all that wiring that wiring turned out to be very substandard actually it's quite amazing that this place hasn't burned down by now but uh, you know we so we had to correct it all and there was testings that we had to do um, we had to do a uh, insulation resistance test um, and anyway the long and short of that is it took a couple months to get all through that and uh, you know we finally got our silver label and I'll show you our silver label so this is the silver label right here is attached to the panel and so now this uh, what this does is it this certifies that this home now is safe it's been tested it's been brought up to code and, and everything's good so uh, now in order for us to keep this uh, certification valid if we do any work in here now we have to do it under permit of course get it inspected and, and all of that and if we do that and keep the documentation that keeps this this valid 
so that when we go to sell it, there'll be no no issues like when we bought like when we bought it. All right, so part of the process was uh, we had a gas water tank in here, a hot water tank. And so the electrical inspector wanted us to install a new, uh, get our new hot water tank installed, you know, so we have a complete job here. And, and so this tank is just kind of temporarily sitting here. We'll be taking that out and, you know, cleaning this all up in here, putting a pan underneath it and, you know, putting in new plumbing and stuff. So this was just kind of done, up, mocked up for the sake of the uh, electrical inspection. There's no water in it. It's not not even hooked up it's just it looks like it hooked up but it just goes through the floor and it's stubbed off down there and you know then we had to go through and we had to put uh you know covers on all of our switches and uh, plugs you know we we went through the whole home and you know did all that we could have no open boxes it all had to be taken care of um we had to install uh ground fault uh, receptacles in the bathrooms um before there was just the razor outlets so this is uh now to code and safe so that was part of the process um, we couldn't have any uh, we had to have fixtures we couldn't have uh, pigtails we just had pigtails here to start with but uh, he wanted us to have uh, you know have the uh, have these we put these keyless lamp holders up here temporarily uh, he didn't like the uh, you know the dangly uh, they're called pigtails which is kind of like a work light so we had to put all that in and you know we just worked on all these plugs and switches all through the whole home so another bathroom up the front there that we had to put the ground fault in as well um, as well on these older homes um, i can't see it but underneath the underneath uh, here roughly in this area there's a plug uh, for the heat tape that um, heats the uh, main water line in the winter time and so right now there's no water to this home. The water's been shut off at the street and we're gonna be redoing all the plumbing. But the, uh, the main water line came in here underneath the kitchen sink. And so that's the main, actually the main water valve there is that blue, that blue handle. And uh, we're gonna be changing that and we're gonna move the main coming into beside the hot water tank. But uh, the original heat trace, heat tape, uh, was uh, that whole, they had put that whole addition onto that circuit. And uh, that circuit is actually supposed to be on its own and it's supposed to be protected by a ground fault uh, receptacle as well. So underneath there, we've put a, uh, a ground fault receptacle to, uh, you know, to, for the certification. We are ultimately gonna be removing that, uh, taking it and we'll have the, we'll put that plug right in here. And so the uh, the new water main will come up in this area here and then that uh, heat trace plug will get moved to this location here and you know straight off the panel. And so then that way it's accessible, you can see what's going on, you don't have to crawl underneath to uh, you know see if your heat trace is working or not. So um, that's about it for now folks. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you where we're at. And you know, over the next uh, few weeks here, we're going to be we're going to be uh, working on some design work, and uh, you know, maybe start to do a little bit inside here. We'll see how the weather holds up. Uh, you know, if we uh, all of a sudden get a big heat wave here, we might start at the uh, demolition work. But before we do that, I, I want to get in a dumpster and you know, clean up some of the trees and stuff around out here. And we've got quite a few. It's really overgrown, but um, as you can see today here, not a good day for working outside. But uh, yeah, we've got, you can see I've got a little pile of brush that I've started there. And we've got a big fir tree here that uh, under a heavy snow load here one night, it, it broke, that, that limb there is broken. But we're just going to clean this all up, trim this all up and open this up. In the summertime, it's uh, kind of dingy in here because of everything being so overgrown. And uh, we're gonna take out a lot of these trees here. Pretty much all these trees at the back are gonna come out. So uh, yeah, we'll get a dumpster in and we'll put all this yard waste in. This is some of the stuff that I've already been turning away here. All right, folks, we'll stay tuned. Yeah, we've got lots coming on this one. 
and uh, we're looking forward to get going here you know once the weather improves and uh, thanks for all the new subscribers that we've uh, been getting uh, we've got a pile of new subscribers and I uh, appreciate you people coming to the channel and hope you find something useful here and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye Oh, so I guess I'm not quite done. Forgot to take you in here and just show you how this all cleaned up here. So we've got this plastic on here to try and keep the heat in the main unit. We've tur turned off the heat into here, just closed off the registers, but yeah, this is how this is uh, cleaned up with all the wiring out of it now. And all the drywall and everything, you can just see, you know, the extent of the damage here. You know, try and save this is basically you know there's not much we can save you know the floor is soft uh, so you know it's just a, it's a write-off and in the market that we have right now you know we don't need this extra fair square footage uh, you know stuff is just selling like crazy and hopefully by the time we get done with this one it, the market will be the same but uh, you know for the, the money that it would cost to put this back you know after we take it down it's just it's just not worth it it's not worth the time and the money uh, we're better off to you know move along on this job and just get it get it on the market kind of as fast as we can instead of you know fooling around we have one uh, just down the street from us two doors over that uh, just sold uh, it was on the market at 225 and sold for 215. So you know we're going to be in about the same price range as this one. Um, but if it keeps going the way it is, uh, you know we're up about 15% uh, year over year already. So uh, you know, that's quite a bit. We might be looking at you know 25, 30 thousand dollars more. But you know by the time we take it to market, you know depending on how the market goes It's kind of like the stock market, right? It's uh, you know, you're not sure how it's gonna work, but no matter what we're gonna make some money on it and uh, We've kind of discovered that You know it uh, there's not a lot of money in you know putting on extra square feet footage on these You know, we're in a uh, affordable in an affordable housing uh, bracket here and if you can keep the price down, uh, you know, it's, uh, it opens the, it up to, you know, more buyers. Okay, so now I'm done. All right, thanks, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.